All right, all right. Thanks for stopping by. So today we say goodbye to Myers Beach in Oregon. I sure have enjoyed my time here. So let's walk down to the beach and say our goodbyes. This is a nice little trail I've walked many times, many days I've walked down this trail to get to the beach. I don't know when I'll be back here, maybe several months, but I'm moving on north up the coast. Oh, there went an animal. Did you see that? You'll have to back it up right there. Should be around the 25 second mark. Some kind of animal just ran across the trail. But anyway, let's go down the beach and say our goodbyes. And try not to step on an animal on the way down here. So long, Myers Beach. I bid you farewell to your dunes and your sea oats and your cedars and your junipers and your giant rocks and your beautiful scenery and your waves and your caves. To you, I say goodbye. I've never been on a beach like this before with driftwood and the big rocks and the moss on the rocks. The beaches I'm familiar with are the Gulf Coast of Florida and Alabama, and there you just have sand and shells. But no driftwood like this. This is special. And we certainly didn't have cliffs and mountains and trees right on the beach like this. But it's time to hit the road. Let's head up the coast. What do we have here? This is a little roadside attraction, probably about 40 miles north of Myers Beach that we had to pull over and take some video of. This looks like an alien carved, carved out of a log. This is some sort of dragon. This is some guy's property. I guess he just did all this for passers-by to stop and marvel at. Stuff like this really adds some spice to road trips. Look at that intricate work on this guy. That took a lot of time to do. This is some sort of praying mantis? Alien? I don't know <laughs> what's going on here. But I can't help but think about how much work this must have done to carve this out of a log. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, this was worth the stop in the rain to get this footage. Here we have some kind of sea urchin. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe that's the beauty of it. You don't really know what's going on here. I'd like to meet the guy that did all this and just sit and talk with him for maybe 30 minutes or so. So we have reached our first destination. Let's walk across this bridge. I have something really special to show you. You are going to trip out when you see this. Oh, there's a little glance of it. Wait for it. You've got to see this, where the ocean crashes into the rocks. What do you think about that? There's a little plaque over here that says, that's called the stovepipe. This location is called Thor's Well. It's right off of 101, and we are several miles north of Florence. Kevin did a video series from here on the Nomok Experience channel about a year ago, and he said, you've got to see this place in person. And I agree, you have to see this in person. You can feel the waves hit the rocks. It shakes the ground under your feet. This stream is running under the bridge that I'm standing on. It's trying to flow into the ocean, but the ocean keeps crashing back against it. It's just amazing to watch this.
So I got tired of getting copyright claims on the music I was putting on the videos. And so I decided I'm just going to start making my own music and putting my own guitar tracks on the video. That way I can bring you different music and different styles. I'm excited to get to the Oregon 22 meetup in June and sit around the campsite, play guitar. I hope some other people are there with their guitars. I really enjoyed doing that at Box Van D's meetup in Quartzsite. We had a great time. Watch this one right here. That's called Thor's Well. Watch when the waves come in. That is awesome. I don't know where the tide is right now. I think it's starting to come in a little bit. Because these rocks over here are getting more water coverage than they were before. I see a big wave cresting out there. Maybe it'll come in and make the well overflow. There it goes. There we go. Oh, well, it's rocking now. This one over here is kicking up again. You can feel the percussion from it. My goodness, you can feel the bass. It shakes the ground. Oh my goodness. You can see how it propels the water. My gosh, sounds like a gun going off. Oh, perfect timing. That's violence. Wow, it's shaking the ground. I think the tide is coming in. All right, this ought to do some damage. Nice, nice. Look at that mist that it leaves behind. That's probably what's on my glasses right now. So yeah, it's time to start playing guitar again. Get back in the groove of that. I miss it. If you have a channel and you need some tunes for background music, yeah, I'll make you some tracks. Maybe I should get a sign and stand on the road and say, uh, we'll play for gas money. <laughs> Let's close this one out with a rockin' tune. This is a ZZ Top song. Hopefully I won't get a copyright strike. Maybe they'll give me a pass since I'm the one playing and not them. Until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell.